Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Jennifer Palumbo in for Barbara Bailey today. Search teams are scouring the Mediterranean Sea looking for wreckage from an Egyptian jetliner. That plane went down this morning on its way from Paris to Cairo with 66 people on board. Tina Kraus has the latest on the investigation, and that's our top story at noon. Distraught family members rushed to the airport in Paris and Cairo after hearing Egypt Air Flight 804 vanished from radar. Greece's defense minister says the plane was flying at 37,000 feet on its way from Paris to Cairo when it suddenly dropped and spun sharply. Search teams have reportedly found items floating in the Mediterranean Sea not far from the jet's last known location near the Greek island of Crete. Investigators hope they can recover wreckage that will hold clues to determine what happened. If you analyze the situation properly, uh, the possibility of having a different action or go, uh, having a terror attack is higher than the possibility of having a technical. Uh... Experts say the plane's black boxes must be found before reaching any conclusions. Could it have been pilot issues? Could it have been mechanical failure? Could it have been a bomb? All of these things will be revealed when we finally are able to find the, the aircraft itself. The last contact from the pilots came 10 minutes before the plane disappeared, with 56 passengers and 10 crew members. The Greek controllers radioed the flight crew to change frequencies, and they never responded. And that was the red flag. That was what brought to the attention of the authorities that this flight was not proceeding as planned. The FBI is assisting in the investigation, and the U.S. has offered to send planes to help in the search. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. And French authorities have also launched their own investigation into the disappearance of Flight 804.